So hey, I have a Raspberry Pi 4. This is a little bit older unit. Um, this was probably, I don't know, 2019-ish when I got this. And uh, I'm going to set the phone down while I plug the, the card into it here. I have an SD card. This is a, uh image that I've been using on this one for a long, long time. Um, and I was going to show you, I just burned this image to a, a new larger card and okay so uh, yeah all right so we get the boot up here and you'll see it actually boots just fine uh, I'm not going to worry about letting it go completely through the whole boot but you get the little raspberries in the corner and then does this and it does this is a uh, retro gaming right here so it has a picture of an arcade and it'll go on I mean from here there's no point in going on it's 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 going to boot um, I want to show you what happens when I take this card that works just fine in an older Raspberry Pi and put it in a newer one, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so here we have a newer Pi. This is one that was bought in 2023. Uh, I guess maybe there's been some revisions to these things. I'm going to hit the power on this, and I'm going to show you what it does. This is that exact same image that was booting on a slightly older Pi. And it comes up and it gives an error message saying that this software is out of date. And it tells you that you need to go and, and get it updated. Um, it was booting fine on the old, older version of the Pi. And it just goes into this constant boot loop here. So let me pull out this SD card and I'm going to take it to the computer and show you what you need to do. Okay, so here we are uh, on a Windows computer and actually... Uh, Windows computers always throw that little error, uh, move this out of the way. They're going to say that, you know, it needs to be formatted, uh, because the partition on RetroPie is a Linux-based partition, and it doesn't like that. But the important partition is this one right here. Boot. It's the boot partition right there. And there's some files on here. Hold on. Okay, so there are some files on here, which, uh are apparently out of date, but can be just updated very easily by copying them down off of the, uh, off of the, um, GitHub website for this stuff. And I'll try to include that website in the details below. Um, and I do believe fix up for dot dat. And then start, where is it? Uh, where is that? Start 4.elf. These are the two files that you need to replace with the more up-to-date ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say rename. I'm just going to go to the beginning of the file name myself, and I'm just going to name them old. O-L-D space enter. And... Let's see, fix, where is it, uh, fix up, no, I think it's fix up four, this one, fix up four, so I'm going to right click on that, rename it, hop to the beginning, do OLD space enter, and then in my downloads folder, I already have these files, um, let's see, I just need to scroll through my list here. And here you see those two right next to each other. That one and that one. Hold down the control key. Okay, sorry about the shakiness on the video there, but uh, I'm trying to do this with a mouse and a keyboard and all that sort of stuff and a camera in my hand. I'm going to copy these. I'm going to go back to this folder. Again, this is the boot folder on that. SD card. I'm just going to click in here and I'm going to do control V because I did a copy on those and it just copied them both in there. You know, you're going to see down at the bottom of the list here. There they are. These are the two new copies of that same of those two files that I renamed old. And I believe if things go well, I'm going to be able to take this right back over to that uh, pie that wouldn't boot and we'll see how it looks. All right. We just plugged it back into this pie here. This is again. Raspberry Pi Model 4B, I do believe it is the 4 gigabyte version, which has, the old one was a, a Model 4, um, and it had, hi, you can see me in the picture there, 
Um, yeah, and it had a lesser amount of memory. Maybe some of those things explained, but ta-da! Replace those files. We are now getting the little gold mine logo. And it does go through a little bit of, uh, it takes a little time on its boot. It will do some things like flashing on the screen here. Um, basically, it'll run some, there it goes, emulation station. And is going to boot. So that's how you fix that. Hopefully it helps some of y'all. Bye-bye.